It takes a lot of different things to make up an effective, well-rounded education. Is it worth it? What happens to these youngsters from Berks County and beyond when they graduate? In other words, what kind of a product does Albright turn out? Well, let's start with Reading. Where do we find Albright graduates in our own community? The president of this concern is an Albright man. And the general manager here. The secretary of this corporation. The treasurer of this. The personnel director here. The chief engineer here. The chief chemist here. The president of this firm. And over in Adamstown, the president, vice president, treasurer, and research consultant of this concern. Besides business and technology, Albright graduates play a key role in education. Twelve are teachers in our high school. The Reading Hospital has three resident physicians and two interns who are Albright graduates. There are eight churches of Reading and vicinity, too, with Albright alumni as their ministers. Other graduates can be found in professional offices throughout the city. There are 19 practicing attorneys and 63, I repeat, 63 doctors and dentists serving the health of the people of Reading and Berks County. Albright's greatest contribution, however, is in the form of hundreds of Christian homes. Educate a man, and you educate an individual. But educate a woman, and you educate a family. Never underestimate the power of a co-ed. And never underestimate the contribution to America by a college that sends out young women who establish gracious, intelligently managed Christian homes, besides taking leading parts in the religious and civic activities of their communities. Great as is Albright's contribution to its own home region, its graduates also go out and achieve distinction in many fields. Pop Kelchner was a beloved personality in Major League Baseball circles for three decades, as well as the grand old man of Albright Athletics. An Albright couple, Mr. and W. Whitmoyer, in Myerstown, have established a worldwide business with these Albright graduates on their technical staff. A nationally known authority in high explosives is Dr. Hartwell H. Fosnott of the DuPont Company. Among Albright's many educators, we can point with pride to Dr. Earl A. Dimmick, superintendent of schools for the city of Pittsburgh and Dr. Dale H. Gramley, president of Salem College in North Carolina. Dr. Levi Snader is chief of secondary education for the state of Pennsylvania. And John W. Kopp is chief of the school building program. Mary Elizabeth Yost is advanced advisor of home economics education for the state. Representative of many in religious work is Dr. Joseph W. Krecker, editor of the Telescope Messenger of the EUB Church. A bishop in the African Methodist Episcopal Church is the Reverend Stephen C. Spotswood of Washington. Let's go in and ask President Masters where Albright College goes from here. Where does Albright College go from here? Well, I'll tell you one place it's not going. It's not going backward. We in America are committed to progress. Worthwhile things in our country are moving ahead. A college that stands still is really slipping backward. Albright must go forward. Forward into a shining future. Yes, President Masters, all of us can share with you that vision. Albright College pours forth a constant stream of the trained creative minds and the Christian motivated men and women whom our free world so desperately needs. Albright College is indeed the capstone of our efforts to provide our youth 
with freedom of opportunity. Truly, America can be thankful for what happens on 13th Street.